hello everyone in this video we are going to look at amazon kindra so amazon kindra is an is an enterprise search service powered by machine learning so if you want to create a search service you can use amazon kindra kindra will uh, do keyword matching and ranking and will understand the content and the context context of the question that you have asked and it uh, searches your data to give the best results all right so if you have a lot of data and you want to search to put in a query so kendra will uh, understand the question or the input that you have given and it will give out the best uh, results right and this is this is done by machine learning all right and we are not going to uh, write any code for this you can directly use this service so let's see how we can do this so this is the amazon kendra page click on create an index so how it works is you have to create an index and then you have to create a data source and with that data source you have to add your sync your data that you want to use for searching purposes all right so what else so i have already created one so we'll create another one now so click on create index so give this a name and uh, the data that I've, i have uploaded earlier was about computer science and machine learning books so i'll write uh, maybe i could write machine learning books all right so you can uh, put anything whatever data you have okay and you create a new role and you can add tags but for this video we will, we won't go for tags so a tag is an administrative label that you assign to aws resources to make it easier to manage them all right so click on next uh, make sure you choose the developer edition and click on create so it says uh, we are creating the following index search demo it can take up to 30 minutes so once that is active uh, we will go further all right created and uh, it will prompt you to add a data source now so let's add a data source so you have multiple options here rds s3 one drive you know salesforce also so we will be uh, connecting with our amazon s3 so click on this so data source name so i'll say hmm Right. and this can be optional so i'll key i won't write anything now Go, click on next and it's it's prompting me to uh, add a data source location right so let's go to our s3 management console and let's create a bucket and click on next block the public access so make sure it's off create bucket so i have this uh, bucket now let's add some data so i add some pdfs so the data is added let's go back to our kendra and now we can browse our s3 so this was the one that we created choose so i don't have any uh, meta metadata files so i'll keep that the way it is choose an option so create a new new role name this and now you have to choose the uh, synchronization schedule so there are multiple options custom also when you click on custom it's going to ask you for a cron ex expression 
so make sure you do it do that correctly for the video i'll say run on demand click on next review and click on and click on create so it's saying we, we are creating the following data source and it's created so it's uh, now we have to sync our uh, data source with the index so click on sync now so the syncing will also take some time so what i've done is i've already created an index earlier and in this index i have a lot of books pdfs which are uh, which are related to uh, machine learning and uh, computer science books all right so once you are so this the notification that you're seeing right now is for the uh, index that we are creating right now see video demo data so right now i'm in my earlier index so here the sync status is success succeeded okay so click on this so once your syncing is complete it will say successful service is operating normal normally okay and you have uh, you know all information here okay so once the syncing is done you can go to your search console and now you can enter your and test your uh, search service so you can enter a query so as i said i have uh, data which is related to machine learning and a lot of computer books so i can say java let's see what the results are so it's giving me uh, the output java the complete reference so this is a pdf and it has detected it from the data source that we have added so and it has given me other uh, options as results as well see so so right now what it is doing is it's uh, doing keyword matching but the answer that they have given the suggested suggested answer is about java and not about you know python so the thing is now the algorithm is understanding where whether the book is a java related book or the word java is just mentioned in one of the books which is not related to java as you can see it says python programming for absolute beginners and only the word java is mentioned so this is not the top result so so if you're understanding the uh, search uh, algorithm that they, have, that they are using is quite accurate so if i say something else let's say uh, uh, i'll ask a question As you can see, it has. Uh, so I have a book, a PDF, which is the design of everyday things. So in that book, uh, it was mentioned Jeff Bezos, the founder of CEO of Amazon.com. So that's why it has given me the answer for this, and it also it has also uh, it is also uh, telling me about the book in which book it has found that. Now, uh, if you look at the documentation, uh, Amazon Kindle can give uh, three types of responses. One can be a question and answer. So if you ask a question like this, it's going to give you give you an answer. The second type can be uh, of uh, a document type of answer. The output is a document like this as well. So these are the uh, document ones and it can answer factoid questions also. So uh, depending upon your application and the data that you are using, you will get different types of responses and uh, it will try to give the best response depending upon the query that you have entered. Right, so uh, I can say, and it's something else also. Python programming. So it is giving me. Uh, so since the data that I have in, uh, in included is only of uh, is PDFs, so that's why I'm getting document as the results. Now the best part about Amazon Kindle is you can uh, implement this feature, so it's always on your React application as well. So on the right side, you'll see an option where it says uh, there's a starting guide and you have a you know uh, deploy search features and other uh, links so that uh, you can implement this in your sorry react application right so this is how you uh, do use amazon kindra so as, as you can see after syncing your data visit the search console page we did and to deploy amazon kindra in your search application so for search application, you must have a React application ready and SDK as well. So the steps for that are 
uh, somewhat different you can find that in the documentation it's easy you can do it all right so if you go back to our previous index that we created so it says you are successfully succinct the following data so the uh, couple of pdfs that we uploaded earlier on our s3 that are synced now you can go to a search console and use it as well all right so this is what amazon kinder is you can go to go through the documentation and see how you can use this in your application or your website all right that's it for this video thank you for watching